a town abandoned, now a tangle of ruins entombed in salt. Epequen was once a retreat for Argentina's leisure class, famed for the curative powers of its salty lagoon. But in the 80s and 90s, the water that sustained the town swallowed it whole. As the flood receded, it left behind a lunar landscape. There was a street, and over there we would come in. Norma was one of 1,200 who had to flee. We had to take everything, everything that meant the doors, the windows, the toilets, the bidet, the faucet, the roof, everything, everything. It was a scheme to boost the town's fortunes that actually led to its demise. Despite its success in the Roaring Twenties, Epequen was plagued by drought. To keep the waters flowing, local leaders began an irrigation system in the 1970s, but never completed it, and Argentina's political troubles got in the way. At that time, our country entered into a tragic phase of government coups, military repression, and the Falklands War, and work wasn't finished. So the work to regulate the water flow was never completed. And that left the path open for destruction. Oscar is the last resident of Epequen. He watched as the levee failed, and water drowned the town inch by inch. People moved up little by little. They moved their things here where they thought the water couldn't reach. Finally the water rose and they had to move again until the water came in the streets and there was nothing left, not one house, nothing. The brine has eaten away at each home until little remains. But among the wreckage, a few signs of life's comforts. Salt in the wound of those who were forced to leave this tormented land.